Hey there guys, Prince Laharukun here, and welcome back to Let's Play To The Moon. Uh, in the previous episode, we entered into Johnny... well, we'd already been into Johnny's memories, but we got to explore a little bit of Johnny's memories. And we got to see him in his old age, and we also met River, uh, who was his wife, as we determined earlier. And we got to see a little bit more of their relationship together. So uh, in this one, we're gonna go ahead and read this, and uh, continue onward. Wait. Don't you dare. Don't worry. Sheesh. See, I'm doing it by the books. Hulk smash! Neil, seriously. I'm trying to get into this, and you're ruining the mood. Totally worth it. <laughs> so we got another momental... Momental? Momento puzzle. This one's kind of annoying because it's kind of hard to see the white here with the lines here. <laughs> we know, bleh, with the the checkered the white checkerboard area here. So I think we're gonna want to do this and then this one, one on the left, and now there we go. Not too bad. Don't worry, those will be getting trickier. Let's go ahead and activate this memento. Crikey nutcrackers! You aren't Australian. Who cares? We're like 20 billion nanometers off the ground and standing on a damn flagpole! Just jump down. It's not like you can be hurt here. Are you kidding me? It's a freaking skydive! You can't stay on here. You can't get off. God, I hate it when this happens. I swear if this pla- Ava! What the- Wuss. they abandon her like this? I suppose she's just no longer needed. No longer needed? By ships, I mean. You know how it is, now that everything has GPS and all that. Look, River. This place means a lot to me, too. And I've been thinking. In our current state, things have been pretty stable. If we save well, in a few years, we could afford to build a house on top of here. It's going to be a squeeze, but I'm sure we'd be able to see her from the window. In the morning, at night, we'd always be nearby. And, and we could walk here anytime. She'll never be alone again, John. I'll be able to watch over her every day. Yeah, we will. Good for them. You gotta be kidding me. You remember what happens, don't you? It's like watching a train wreck. The ending is any more, any more important than any of the moments leading to it. The important thing is that over here, they're happy. Let's move on. So this is how they got the, uh, lighthouse, it seems. River really cares for that lighthouse. Wait a minute. They were referring to the lighthouse as Anya, weren't they? I suppose so. Then, that river. She declined treatment for the sake of a lighthouse? Isn't that a bit too extreme? I've seen stranger things in the course of the job. Me too, but uh, I can never wrap my head around it. 
It's none of our business anyway. She's not our client. Alright, so that's who Anya was. Apparently Anya was actually the lighthouse this entire time. Alright, and there we go. And here's our memento. This one's kind of messed up in a lot of places, so let's see what we can do. Um, should we start with that one? Let's try this one first. Uh, this is where they get tricky. Oh man, I think I might have messed this one up. <laughs> That's backwards. Why did I do that? Wait, wait, no, I can still fix this. How did I do that? I didn't mean to do that. Wait, I think I got this. Okay, <laughs> there we go. So that's an example of me being incredibly bad at these puzzles. <laughs> yeah, I messed that one up. Oops. River? Dear Lord, not again. I don't remember what else is in this room. I think that's it, though. Can we look at this piano here? How the heck did they move this thing upstairs? Who knows, but I bet it'd be a piece of cake for the TARDIS. <laughs> Not really. You can't even get it through its door. Hmm, true. Well, that settles it. Moving pianos is a pain in the arse for everybody. It'd probably take an entire episode to get it inside. I wouldn't mind seeing such an episode. Me neither. It sounds pretty epic. <laughs> uh, Doctor Who references. You went out for a haircut this early in the morning? What are you making there? Rabbits. Did you see the rabbit I left for you? Yeah. Tell me about that rabbit. Huh? Describe the rabbit. Uh, it was yellow. What else? A bit puffy. And? Well... It's just a paper rabbit. I don't know how else to describe it. You're acting strange, River. Is something wrong? River? I don't know about you, but I'm getting some inverse deja vu. I think I know of her condition, but this is rather odd even for that. You think she's... Do you? Perhaps. Who knows? But like you said, she's not our client. Let's just get what we're paid for over with. She started it, huh? Yeah. But why 
Why does she keep making rabbits? And she keeps asking John to describe it. Very strange. strange seeing these invisible cars you can just walk through. <laughs> so I guess we'll just uh, head to the location of their home, since we have nowhere else to really go. I wonder what condition River has. where the house used to be, isn't it? A house that never should have been. I mean, really, what is it about unusually high and dangerous places that attract people? Acrophobia. Let's see, that's an interesting note. Acrophobia. <laughs> something, that John <laughs> something that Johnny and River apparently didn't have. Yeah. Yeah, apparently not. <laughs> Although I still think it'd be a cool place to live. I don't know. That is an interesting point. So where are we going? Is that why you approached me back then? Yeah. What about now? I suppose it's just a part of it. Look, it was a long time ago. It's not too relevant now, but Izzy said I should tell you the truth. I shouldn't have tainted our first meeting like that. Tainted? What is that? A hacky sack? Can you throw this as far as where Anya's at? I don't know. You want me to try? Would you? River! Are you insane? Get away from there! memory isn't too far from the last. Think they may be connected? Probably. Huh. Why did she cut her hair anyway? I like long hair. Very strange. River just keeps getting stranger and stranger the more we see of her. Well, apparently you can do that in four, but I just did in five. Hmm. Everyone with it is different, John. Just because she and I share the syndrome doesn't mean we share the same head. But you must be able to help somehow. 
Everything was okay at first, but now she's even more aloof than before. Even when we're in the same room, she never really is there. It's starting to take a toll on me. I just don't know how to take it anymore. Well, I can't speak for her, but many of us do long for connections. Though, being able to articulate it is a different story. Just because she struggles to express it, it doesn't mean she doesn't feel anything. She's still there, right? Sometimes you just have to fit, have, you have to have faith that she cares. That's pretty difficult to do, day in and day out. I know. Wait, but why do you seem so normal, Izzy? I mean, don't you have the same condition? For one, I was diagnosed when I was still young. With effort, it's not impossible to acquire a guise of social norms systematically. But you know what? I both envy and pity River. Me? I'm an actress because I've been doing it all my life. Not only on stage, but off stage, and at practically every moment. I've gotten good at it because acting is the only option I have. It's the only way for me to be normal. But River, she never did that. She remained an outcast and refused to learn to step against it. I don't know if it was by choice or by limit, whether bravery or cowardice. There are days when I just can't stand faking it anymore. And then, I realize that it's too late. The Isabel that people know of is all an act and the real me has long become a stranger. I think in the end, I just envy her. Huh, I've never met a woman with it before. Then technically, you still haven't met one. This isn't part of our business, let's move. Oh god, this... that part. Oh. When I first read that, it kinda, I don't know, just, I kinda feel the same way. Like, when I go out in public, sometimes I feel like that's all I'm really doing is just putting on a ruse for people because I can't socialize very well. I mean, I'm not afraid to admit it anymore, even though I used to be. But seeing a video game and just explaining it in the most eloquent way like that just really hit home for me. Like, I don't know, I, th I think this is the part where I started to kind of feel like maybe I could relate with the two female characters that we have here. Anything new today? No. What are you rereading there? The Emperor's New Clothes. I loved this when I was young. Still do, huh? Of course. <laughs> Just for different reasons. When I was a kid, I loved the Animorphs series. I know. Your mother gave you a book from it as a wedding present. <laughs> yeah, that was one odd wedding present. I guess I was pretty obsessed with it when I was a kid. Why haven't you reread them since? Huh? I saw them. They're collecting dust in the garage. Well, I just grew out of them, I guess. I mean, they're children's books. What's wrong with reading children's books? They're comforting. I suppose so. I think I'm going to get this one. <sighs> Holy cow. But, as I was saying, just... I don't know. Having... Having a, having difficulty being able to articulate what exactly the issue is, and just having a game... Just all of a sudden, out of nowhere, just... Explain so well what you've been struggling through... I think for me, was a really powerful moment for me. And I think... I even teared up a little when I read it, because of just how... How amazing! It's like somebody out there finally understood how tough it was for me to just socialize with people. I mean, even today, I'm not the best at it, 
And sometimes I feel like I do have to act. And it's like, I don't want to have to act because I should just be able to be myself, but I know for a fact that my self is not something that is socially acceptable. As strange as that may be to some people. <laughs> Sorry, I just, I kind of felt like I should, uh, add that in there. And that's part of why this game means so much to me and why I'm so excited to be Let's Playing it for you guys. So let's go ahead and go talk to Johnny over here. Oh, he just kind of appeared all over the place. I'm not yours. You're not mine. Be my Auntie Valentine. Hey, River, this one's not that corny. <laughs> uh, River? I don't know about that one, John. I would, uh, not get that one. Whoa, you just kind of warped over there, sir. Oh, I didn't read the... Okay. So if you talk to the other John over there, uh, you'll be asked a question of which, uh... Um, which Animorph David was in the series. Unfortunately, I talked to the wrong one first, and you're not supposed to know. You can come over here and talk to this John, and then River will explain the characters here. And it'll have David highlighted in yellow. Oh, just wondering. You could have just googled it. <laughs> Thanks, River, for making us feel so bad. But what about David's? He's my favorite character. Uh, I don't know. What are you talking about? Animorphs. Have you read it? No. Yes. Really? Sort of. Oh, oh, do you know what animal David is David's main animorph? Um... And here we get to enter the text, but we already know what the answer is, it's cobra. So let's go ahead and type in cobra. Oh yeah, a cobra! I really wish they kept the old covers instead of these plane sheets, those were cool. Huh. And now we still have to find one more. I think it might be that backpack. I run into this a lot when I play this game, is that I don't look at one thing, and that ends up being the one thing I didn't, that I needed. And it's not the backpack, I think. Maybe? Maybe I'm missing something. They stay the, say the same thing? Yeah, they do. Oops. The world would be easier on the eyes if people just remembered faces more. Alright, now that we found all of the memory links in the memento, I think we're going to leave it here because we're at the 20, 23 minute mark. So, um, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of To the Moon, and as we've been doing in the previous episodes, we're going to go ahead and continue on with uh, John's memories. As a reminder, we're about here, so we should start getting into his uh, young adult slash teenage years in the next episode. So uh, I hope you guys are looking forward to it, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Later, guys.